Now you may whistle while you work, but what you could be doing more while you clean your house is exercising. Personal trainer Lorraine Scappins is back in the Harvey Norman Lounge to show us how. Good morning. Hi Mel. Always nice to have you here. Already Thank complimented you. you on your active wear, which is beautiful, and you bought your vacuum. I know. So you can give a quick <laughs> whip, around, whip around the studio afterwards. Um, so we all do household chores, some more than others. Yeah. Why should we get ex exercise in? I think one of the main things is, is you know, when, when we're busy at home, we tend to do the housework over exercise, you know, and that sort of becomes paramount. So what we need to do is add some exercise into our housework and then we get the both of both worlds. We feel good about it because we've actually done something for ourselves and we've got half or one room tidy in the house. Yeah, you know what would be a full workout in my house actually would be getting all the stuff that's down behind the sofa cushions. Oh. I, I think I could feed a family of five from there for about a week or so the amount of food I found down there. Um, so can you show us some exercises that we could do while we're vacuuming? Yeah sure and they don't need to be hard exercises so remember when you're back vacuuming you can be exercising already but if you just start to add different types of movements in there we've got ballerinas what you can do which are great easy so you're focusing on your balance right you know 10 15 on each leg get the music on get into it you can do lunges you can do squats moving round and because these are working big muscle groups you're burning actually more calories. Actually, that's really good because I, I often find when I'm vacuuming, I do tend to get into quite a bad position and my back starts hurting where I should be doing something. Yeah, like and, and then you can use, you don't want to rely so much on the hose when you're vacuuming because you want to think about your stabilizers. You do yeah. want to think about your core muscles whilst you're doing it. And it can become quite a strength exercise, you know, and you can add in, add in jumps, you can add in the lunges as well. So it becomes just a little bit more beneficial. And if you think, even if it's just your, va um, your kitchen or your lounge, you can do 20 or 30 lunges times that two or three times a week. I don't know how many times everybody vacuums, but that could be 90 or Not 100 enough lunges. Is the answer to that. Not yeah, enough. No. <laughs> There's always crumbs on the kitchen floor. So what is the correct technique? So you have to stay upright? Definitely stay upright. I mean, let's think about these exercises, squats and lunges. You should really be able to do them um, well before you start vacuuming. So okay. just think about that and, and then just go for it. You know, like I said, the music on, you know, a bit like Freddie Mercury around the house in that old video. <laughs> <laughs> and don't use your vacuum cleaner for support? No, so you don't want to over rely on this. Concentrate on your core muscles because that's what's going to keep the good technique through your exercises. You know, and you can add in jumps as well. You know, we sort of jump around on the floor, moving through and forward. So you can actually get quite a bit of a sweat on as well. I can just imagine the whole family <laughs> on the sofa watching you jump around going mum's gone crazy again yep, mum's yep. gone crazy again um so does it burn even more calories when you do that sort of thing i would say so because mm. you're definitely using the bigger muscle groups you know we're using the quads we're using the hamstrings and we're just thinking more about the exercise so like i said you can start to get your heart rate up the more muscles you're using the more calories you're burning as well what about pregnant women should they be doing this sort of thing as well yeah they can do yeah definitely all the exercises you know your squats lunges ballerinas you know you can make up your own exercises they're all generally safe mm. for pregnant women to be doing all okay that. so we've got the lounge cleaned yep. now we've got the lounge yeah. cleaned incredibly well all that little part where we've been doing the lunges yeah. uh, what about other parts of the house you know stirs absolutely great you know taking washing up and down the stirs into different bedrooms why not challenge yourself and run on them here um, helping you know getting the kids to tidy their own bedrooms and yet putting <laughs> some exercise in and making it fun for them as well oh look at that yeah that's my middle one that's impressive yep yep so these are great to do on the bed you know you've got the tricep dips tricep jump dips oh they are really good so when we're talking about exercising, we're not just talking about reaching a little bit further, are we? We're actually putting some proper yeah. focused exercises yeah. into the routine. Because that's where you're going to get the benefit from as well. And I see that you've got the kids involved there, so they're modelling their fitness on you? Yeah, yes, they are. And do you know what's really nice when you're getting your kids involved in exercise like that? When they're young, they actually don't see it as exercise. They see it as enjoyable movement. So that's really beneficial mm -hmm. a lot later on in life because exercise doesn't seem to be that that chore or something they have mm. to do. They've learnt to love it before they've discovered anything about, you know, not wanting to exercise. So that's all really increases that health and well-being of the whole family as and well. And it's a great way for mum and, and the kids to have a bit of a play, really. Yeah, oh, for sure, yeah. So I can see it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, running around chasing after them with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> and we could do another segment on emptying out the vacuum cleaner after they've used it. Yes, that's the right. Go up yes, that's okay. right. <laughs> hey, well, it's always a pleasure having you in. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for giving a whip around the studio afterwards. Thanks, Mel.